Today on Animal Fact Files, we're talking about Sicilians. Though they might be mistaken for worms because they live underground, or snakes because they don't have limbs, Sicilians are neither. These are amphibians. Classified in their own order, Sicilians aren't closely related to any other living amphibian species such as frogs or salamanders, though one look at them can probably explain why. They're entirely unique. Sometimes, Sicilians are commonly referred to as naked snakes, but since that might be a little confusing, we're going to avoid that common name. The name Sicilian is derived from the Latin word meaning blind, and this is for good reason. These amphibians have extremely reduced eyes that are hidden beneath either a layer of skin or even a skull. Sicilians spend most of their time underground, so they don't really need to have fantastic vision. With the exception of a handful of aquatic species, Sicilians burrow beneath the surface of the Earth, and this is a large reason why most of us have never even heard of them. Believe it or not, Sicilians live all throughout the tropics of the world, including Central and South America, South and Southeast Asia, and Central Africa. They're not found in Australia, though. Guess the Aussies can't have every weird animal. There are nearly 200 species of Sicilians throughout the world. The shortest Sicilians are about 4 inches long, while the largest are 5 feet in length, making them longer than the height of an average 12-year-old. Generally, they appear gray, blue, or purplish in color, but some species come in bright oranges and yellows. These brilliant hues may be an indicator to predators, like snakes and birds, to stay away from toxic, untasty skin. Sicilians' bodies look like they're segmented like an earthworm, and for some species, within the grooves of these ring shapes are scales, a primitive amphibian trait that is not found in most, if any, other amphibians. Sicilians also have tentacles. They're the only amphibians with these structures, and they use them to survey their surroundings. Although they're relatively blind, Sicilians are excellent hunters, and enjoy meals of earthworms, termites, caterpillars, snakes, fish, and eels in the case of the aquatic species, and even each other. While the adults don't take kindly to another Sicilian eating them, it's actually encouraged in the young of some species. All Sicilians produce offspring with the mating of a male and a female, but there are different ways their babies are born. Some are born as eggs that hatch into larvae, which metamorphose into adults. Pretty normal, and a lot like the salamander life cycle we discussed in our axolotl episode. But Sicilian reproduction methods don't end there. Some species are born viviparous, or live and not within an egg. On their way out, the baby Sicilians will eat the lining of their mother's oviduct. Oh, it doesn't stop there either. In other species, the mother may lay a clutch of eggs and guard it until the babies hatch. They'll stay with their mother for the next four to six weeks, all the while eating her dead skin, which is packed with large fat cells. Motherly love in the animal world gets real, y'all. Currently, it's unknown how long Sicilians live in the wild, though some have survived more than a decade housed in zoos. There's a deficit in Sicilian research due to their elusive nature. Of the almost 200 species, a handful are classified as threatened or endangered in the wild. But for most, there isn't sufficient data to classify their population status. It's possible they're under stress from habitat loss, like many other amphibian species today. But until more research is performed, this will remain uncertain. For more facts on Sicilians, check out the links in the description. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.